Hey folks, it's Rithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. You look around the inn. We could be anywhere in Azeroth. We could. We've got a nice fire going. You've got all of the barrels and everything all the way around. We really could. We could be anywhere in Azeroth. There's a few soldiers in here. Helping out with a few bits and pieces. Just kicking back. There's another fire going there in the kitchen. It's absolutely wonderful. We've even got the Christmas decorations up. Very peaceful, very relaxing. And then you step out here. And you've got a ravaged world. Torn apart by demonic fires. Ruins around us. And you can sense the desperation in the people that hold out valiantly against the onslaught. This is a very different world from the one that we've come from. So let us continue. We need to go down over this way. We've already slaughtered a load of different animals. What's going on? Okay. I've never noticed that before. Not once in all the time that I have played this game have I ever noticed that. The Fell Reaver over there is busy fighting someone. They seem to be putting up a pretty good fight, it's got to be said. I don't think we'd put up that good of a fight. I think we'd get squished. In fact, I'm fairly certain we'd be squished pretty quick. But I am absolutely certain that young Mr. Gooseman X would quite appreciate seeing said Fell Reaver perish at the hands of anyone, really. He wouldn't mind at all because that Fell Reaver took him out a good few times. So we're going to hover here above the Path of Glory. And we are going to just watch that Fell Reaver meet his untimely demise. But we'll, we'll move in a little bit closer. Move in a little bit closer, see if we can see what's going on. Can't see any targets around his feet. But whoever's taking him down is doing a very good job of it. He's about to be finished off. Let's go in a bit closer. Let's, let's see if we can do this. Let's, let's, let's get a bit braver. Let's move in here. A shattered hand guards down there. It's not him. I don't know who it is. Ah, there we go. Look. Starsky. He is actually on our side. He's doing a very good job of it. He is a level 78 dwarf paladin. He gives us hope. And there goes the Fel Reaver. The Fel Reaver has died. The Fel Reaver is in pieces. Okay. That's for you, Gooseman X. That was for you. Right, now more to the point. We need to be going up here and we need to be turning in our quests here. So we've got Hello this one first. You. Who are you? Waste not, want not. Were you able to find any usable materials out there underneath all the dust, ash and char? This is in better condition than I thought it would be. Sure, it's got. It's going to take some time to work off all the rust but, and, and the char and, and the like. But I'll not complain. Now that we've gotten our salvage operation off the ground, it's time to begin the second phase of the plan. Across the path of glory, the Horde has, still has their old blade throwers trained on us. Don't let their age fool you, Grundorn. They're still very dangerous. Much as we're working to reclaim what we can, we can't assume that the Horde is going to dismantle their weaponry. Take this torch and burn the remaining siege equipment. I'll take no chances with Honor Horde's safety. Off with you. Off with you. Hello. Very good. I'm sure their loss will be felt in Hellfire Citadel. Although that dark bastion looms over us and seems nigh uns insurmountable, it is only with bold moves like you have made that we will find victory over the fell orcs. Now, which one do we want? We've got versatility there. Strength, stamina and stuff. We've got critical strike. I think we'll go with... I don't know. I don't know! We'll go with... What do they look like? That one there. Looks like that. That doesn't look like a kite shield. I like that one better. we we'll go with the landslide buckler. Grundorn, in our battles with the bleeding hollow clan of fell orcs, we have found upon them foreboding trinkets. These orcs collect have collected the insignias of fallen honor hold soldiers and created cursed talismans from them. 
We fear the dark magic of the Bleeding Hollow Orcs have transformed our insignias into evil charms with powers against us. Find such a talisman from the Bleeding Hollow Orcs of Zeth Gore to the east, and bring it to Corval Iron Ridge at Expedition Point, northeast of Zeth Gore. Farewell. We will do that. We also, well, first of all, we want to go to laying waste to the unwanted. That's got to be our first thing. Now, we want to head over there, but what I'm also thinking is we can go and check the pets occasionally. Now, these are level 18 creatures, so we're going to want reasonable uh, levels, except those are no good. No good at all, so we will simply forfeit and we will leave that. And I'm going to repair, I'm going I'm to um, replenish the pets right now. We go to our collections in there, we go to the pet journal and I will revive all the pets for it. Then we can take to the skies like an ostrich and we'll head over this way. So, so see these guys here, right? The, the, the way that the, um, they are there. I'm pretty sure that means that they're sort of ready for PvP. The way that person is looking right there. I'm pretty sure it means that they've enabled PvP so that the um, Horde can attack them. And also they can attack the Horde characters if, if the Horde characters wanted to get involved as well. But still, never mind. We're not getting involved in PvP because, quite frankly, that's not the sort of thing that I think I can get involved with. I think it is a little bit too much for me. I'm going to go... Seriously? All the way over there. Let's take you down like that. Go on. You, you come in a little bit closer. There. I, I can take both of these down. I can do... But I, I can do this. I can absolutely do this. Apparently, I cannot take that one out. That one's going to run away now, and it's going to cause me problems. You watch. It's going to cause me problems in a minute. When he comes back, because he's going to get to that far. This one's not going to cause me any problems. But you, however... You can't dodge the flames. That's one slightly annoying thing about it, is you can't dodge the incoming flames. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. I'm going to just very quickly loot that. I'm also going to do our very first mining on here. There we go. And I'm going to use the torch, because that just chucks it onto the siege engine over there like that. Kablamo, like that. And then we'll walk up around here and take that one out. We'll not take it out so much as um, just just gather it. What did he say? We were talking about Witcher. Uh, really kill for a new Witcher game. We do have the Netflix series with Henry Cavill coming next year. That looks actually pretty good. I've seen some pictures of Henry Cavill dressed as the Witcher so far. And i got to say, I, it does look quite cool. I'm looking forward to that. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and stand up on the top of here to blow this one up. I know, it's a really good idea. Target needs to be in front of you. Is that in front of me? There we go. Stand right on top and then light the fire. It's the best way to do it. See? <laughs> okay, that was actually quite good. Uh, we've got some fell iron down. I'll go and get that in a minute. I'm going to go along here and I'm going to do this on these three. I'm going to do it like this. Because th this does actually seem to be a very positive way of doing this. Um... There we go. No, we were just talking about Witcher 3 and uh, Henry Cavill being in um, a series that's supposed to be coming out next year, which I think looks really, really cool. Um, but I'm still playing Witcher 3. I'm, I'm still playing it. I haven't actually finished playing it at all yet. And my own gaming time, I don't actually have a lot of time for my own gaming time. I do come on and I play a bit of Warcraft, like I said in the last episode. Uh, sometimes I don't get time to do that. Sometimes I'm just genuinely, I, I can't sort of do socializing. I've, I've done too much and so I've got to take a break and uh, then I sort of do my own thing. And just, I'm more likely to go playing Witcher when I'm having a, um, a non-socializing gaming day. Um, but yeah, I'm aware that I, I try to come on and play Warcraft as well as do all the other things that I want to do as well. And then we've got all these hordies who've just turned up and have stolen my ore, which is really not very helpful because it doesn't last very long before um, it disappears. There, if, if I just very quickly take him out, can I actually mine it now? Have I got time to mine it before it disappears? Just. And we've got some motes of fire as well. It's never very helpful when people do that. 
They come along and, and they um, they wait for you to, to, to take the mobs nearby and then they jump in. Um, but anyway, yeah, Witcher 3, I am in the process of playing it. So if, if you're in, still on number two, I've never played number two. I've never played the first or the second games. I've only played the third one. Um, it's still really cool, though. Now, I want to go and turn this quest in here. Then we need to be going to Zeth Gore. Interest you in a fight? Interest you in a fight? Laying waste to the unwanted. That's the spirit. I'm glad we finally got some reinforcements, but I'm not so sure about their attitude towards the Horde. Where I come from, anyone with a weapon pointed at you is an enemy that needs to be dealt with like one. Um, well, Watch yeah, that's fair head. enough. Right, well, see, the Horde's... It's, it's a bit of a mixed bag where we are at the moment because we, we are kind of united with the Horde but at the same time still fighting them. It's it's a little bit odd. It is a little bit odd, granted. Okay, let's let's have a look at this Scorpid here a minute and see if he's... There we go. Look, we got a green upgrade but we got a blue upgrade. We got we got a blue right there so we want to take this Scorpid out here. Uh, I'm going to try and switch up that one in a minute. Um, I'm going to throw a Leech Seed onto it. Like that. And... Alright, he's got some sort of poison thing. I'm going to switch pet now. I'm going to switch over to... I'm just going to go straight with the gnome. And then I'm going to... I'm not going to put the guns down yet. Because I'm a bit concerned that uh, that one might come up next. And... Okay. Definitely didn't need the gun there. Okay, this is brilliant. We've got the blue one. So I'm going to do... Ooh. Oh, for, uh, right, we'll do one hit with that. Now I'm going to switch. I'm not going to risk hitting him again. Switch pet. Back to the terrible turnip. Because I don't want to risk doing too much damage to him. So we just hit him with that one. Like that. There we go. And it's lowered that, but now we've got a chance to capture him. Now this is the same pet as we've got running around with us. But it's an upgrade. And then we've got the adder there. This one, we do want to kill it. So this one, I'm going to switch pet again. And I'm going to go back to Alfred. I'm going to throw down a, a gun turret. Like that. So I'll put the gun turret down. And then he's going to come up. And he's going to hit me. And we do some serious damage to him. And then I'll take him out with this. Uh, i hit him with that one. Plus the gun turret as well. And that's enough to take him down. Right. Nice, easy, quick battle all done and dusted we have got a level 17 scorpid that has now been added um scorpid Took care to view it in the journal so silver wolf is our current scorpid we've got a scorpling over there that we weren't able to replace so i'm going to name we're going to let me just come to find it in the great book of names who is next on the list and we've got a new scorpid to join us on our travels Silver Fennekin is our next one right there. So, Mr. Silver Fennekin, you are now the new pet of the day. And actually, I haven't summoned you yet. I will summon you. There's the Fell Reaver over there. Is he coming towards us or is he running away? Uh, I think he's actually running away. Right. Deranged Hellbore. I don't have a target. Yeah, deranged does actually sound about right. Okay, now I want to go back to my collections there silver fennekin summon so silver fennekin is it's another um scorpid and the scorpids i really like the scorpids i think they look cool and it really fits this region as well it does it absolutely fits this region uh talk to sergeant altimus at the east supply caravan or we want to go the cursed talisman talk uh Curse Talisman is over there at Zeth Gore. And then... Yeah, the, the, the Talismans of Ill Omen. So, what I'm thinking is... We want to go out here a minute. And we want to, first of all, speak to the person down here. And... I can't remember if their quests sort of link up with those quests up there. I don't think they do. I think those are set. I think these here are separate quests. You have those down here at the broken caravan down here. It's a massive, great big caravan. It's got to be said. Look at that wagon in there. That is huge. I don't know what they were using to pull that thing, but I've not yet seen any beasties that could pull it. 
Um, so, do I speak to you? Actually, I think you send me off over that way, and it's a whole different um, thing. Let's let's do it. Let's let's speak to her anyway. You need something. The Legion reborn. Force Commander Danath may have misunderstood my request for reinforcements. You look capable, but I asked for a full-size battalion. You see, we have a bit of a, pro a demon problem. I'm as good as any de but an any de 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 battalion. Uh, the battalion. Battalion is the word I'm looking for. I'm as good as any battalion. Look at my dragon. See? Look at my dragon I'm sitting on. This means I'm awesome. Doom Lord Kazak commands the Burning Legion and Outlawed. In Outland, Outlawed, good grief. I'm, I'm, my reading is terrible today. While we can't get to Kazakh yet, we can and must get to his lieutenants that command Legion troops from the ground. They're stationed Dreadlords at the Path of Anguish, east of here. They are the ones responsible for these infernal storms that rain down upon our heads. To take them and their minions out would be a great setback to the Burning Legion. Go with honor, friend. We'll do that. With the Legion to one side and the Felorks to the other, on a hold is going to be overrun in a matter of time if we don't do something about it. Head west to the Hellfire Ramparts and speak with the advanced scout Chadwick. He's in charge of a covert operation to start an alliance invasion on the center citadel. Be careful. Right, that one there is inside the dungeon. I'm just going to untrack that one because we might go and do that dungeon. I'm not sure. That might be a dungeon that we actually do. Probably not, but we might. I haven't quite considered it yet. Right, we want to get a load of these. We've got the Infernal Warbringers down here, so I can take you out. And then I want to start getting some of these imps as well. And then I've got a Dreadcaller. And then another one of those. Oh, 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 oh. Grandor Jenkins. And, yeah, I'm really Jenkins it this time. Um, let me go back over here a minute and we will try it like this. And I'm going to do that. I'm just going to bubble up a minute. Let's do the bubble. Let's do the bubble. Let's do the bubble. Let's flash of light. Let's flash of light. We've run out of bubble now. Bubble power is gone. But... I'm back on target. I am back on target. Bring that one up and then heal up there as quickly as I can. I've got healing right there as well. Go through that and more of this one. Okay, now we're really struggling. We're really struggling now. Flash of light. It's going to let me. I need to spam flash of light until that one's ready. Just to bring it up a little bit. There we go. Right, that's done there. Then I can bring that one. I want to put that one down again. We're losing health fast. I've used. I've already used my health trinket. Oh, I forgot to use that one. That's one that I need to use. Uh, don't go for the dread caller first. Go with that one there. Uh, the, the dread caller is the one that's causing me some serious issues. So take out this warbringer. The next one of those. That's all of that down. And then I've only got this one left now. That's a lot more like it. I tell you what, that was pretty close. There, and interrupt him, and heal up. All of those, and I ended up with about 68% health at the end of it. That, I think, was a pretty good run. Even if I do say so myself, that was a pretty good run. So I got one Flamewalker Imp, I got five Infernal Warbringers, and I got the Dreadcaller as well. There's another Dreadcaller down there, which I'm not going to worry about. So I want to get another Imp over there, and... One of them down there. And then if I go here, so the, the, the sprites are not much to worry about, I don't think. If I come around here, they get taken... Yeah, they, they disappear very quickly with the AoE on the ground. So I don't really need to worry about them, especially when I'm throwing the shields around. So that's those taken out. So now all i got to do is get a few of those. And I'm going to jump down here. I, I'm going to aggro one of them there. Don't mind that too much. It's just one. And I can also heal up a little bit very quickly. So there goes the Flame Walker Imp. Now I can work on this Warbringer here. I'm going to have another Warbringer that's going to come up and attack me in a second. But he won't last very long. Oh, no, he's not. He's turned round. Okay, that's good. And then these fell sprites, that's nothing. Remove him. Instant like that. And then... Right, we're up. We're up like this. 
And I've got the bone, uh, the bone chewer, no, there's no bone chewers, it's that flame walker imp right there. That one is, is the last one, actually. There's, there's a thing in here, there's a thing in the ground, and I do actually want to get that one. I'll bring that one up, there. Oh, it's crust burster, I wonder what it was. Alright, I'll do that in a minute. Get this old crusty burster here. Bring him out. Go around there. It's just going to take out the rest of these imps here. Not much of a challenge, really, taking them all down. And as long as I can just keep working through that, I am going to bring up that infernal watcher over there, which is a bit of a nuisance. But it's only that one guy there coming in now. I've taken out the rest of them. Look at all of this. Look at all of these XPs that I've got. It's brilliant. It's very, very brilliant. And how have I got another one turned up? How did I even... How did you even turn up on the aggro? I didn't even see you turn up there. A bit annoyed with that. I thought that I was doing just fine. Okay. Take the rest of that out. And then you. And then Kablamo. We're finished. Right. Pick up everything there. And there. Right. Let's get up into the air so that we can head back over. This. We want to go back in and turn this one in now. Come back down into here. And by the way, this horse right here, I love this mount. I absolutely love this mount. I think it looks so cool. Unfortunately, it's the Hearthsteed mount. Uh, when Hearthstone, I think when Hearthstone was first released, actually, or when there was a major event on with Hearthstone, if you linked Hearthstone, started playing that, and then linked it with your WoW account, um and got a certain number of wins, you won this mount here in this game. So it was a limited edition, it's no longer available. Uh, which is a real shame, because I know so many people would really like to get this one. And it is a really, really awesome one. I And this is of... I know that I say that, you know, I really love these mount, I really love this mount, I really love this mount. This is definitely among one of my um, top 10 to 15 favourites. I, I can never, you know, really go for a top 10, but... Um, uh, I would say this is almost definitely, certainly, maybe in the top ten. Now, let's have a little wander down here. And... Need help. Sergeant Altimus. Outstanding work, soldier. The frequency of the attacks is sure to lessen, at least until they bring forth new dreadlords. Now for the bad news. I've got your new orders. Well, we get the Faux Reaver Sword. Uh, ooh, one-handed. Except that we use maces. We are strictly a mace man. So we are not going to be taking that one. Your battle prowess has been noted by High Command, Paladin. They want to send you to the front lines to meet up with Rohamus' crew. They're radicals devoted to the complete extermination of the Burning Legion, so you may fit right in. Head east about 400 paces across the Valley of the Bones until you run into a destroyed Fell River. You'll see Expedition Point where a Legion base used to stand. Once there, you are to report the Forward Commander Kingston. Now move out. Light bless you. Right, so we want to go this way, and this is where the Fell Reaver gets to be a bit of a nuisance because he does tend to uh, stamp on your face a little bit while you're at this camp, at this place over here, and it is troublesome, to say the least. It is very, very troublesome. Expedition point. Um, so, what am I bringing to him? Ill omens... Ah, right. So we do actually want to go. We want to head over this way and we want to get this talisman because we also want to take that one to him. And this is where the two quests kind of meet up. So we'll run in here first and we'll grab this. We can also get some ore while we're here. A nice fell iron deposit right there. Don't mind if I do. And a moat of earth. Uh, so it's not those. Maybe if I do that. Where do I get this from? Just says bleeding hollow grunt. Who has them? Uh, talismans, bleeding hollow orcs. Huh. I'm guessing maybe it could just be any orc then. I'm not actually sure. Let's take this one down. Yeah, he doesn't actually have the thing on him that says, you know, it could be this one. So I think really it's just any orc actually it doesn't really matter um although i would appreciate it if you just stayed around and had a little chat with me because th there's there's questions i want to ask you um although you don't seem to be in the mood for answering them now so fine i'll i'll, I'll move on and i'll find someone else 
Yeah, it's not you either. You over there, you, you, you can definitely come in. I'll do that. And you up there. You can come back in as well. You can have a little chat. There. Now, take out. I'll take out the Shaman first. And then after I've taken him out. There. Um, oh, he's down. He's down. He's down. That's good. Then we will do this. Now, these peons, I don't think they actually put up very much of a fight. But there's another one down. And you. And then judgment to the back. Oh, I've got two Cursed Talismans. That was easy. Right, so now I will mount up and Red Flying Cloud. We will hover our way back over to this bit over here. And then once I've hovered my way back in here, I can turn in both of these quests. I need to report to the Forward Commander Kingston and also need to report to Corporal what can Ironridge. What I do for you? Reporting from on a hold, Grundorm. That's good. Our campaign against the demons and the fell orcs is running thin on able bodies. Ah, you recovered an insignia from the Bleeding Hollow Orcs. Good. It is outrageous that they use our own symbols against us and mock our comrades who've fallen to those red-skinned beasts. Grundon, we cannot allow the Bleeding Hollow Orcs to possess their cursed talismans. You must acquire them for us so that they may be disposed of and so the soldiers who owned them may be honoured for their sacrifices. And by the way, yeah, we did just level up. Uh, we've now got Mana Tombs and Drakthar and Keep available to us. Drakthar and Keep. Oh, that's up in Northrend, isn't it? Yeah, I get confused about that. They now sort of combine the two, don't they? Uh, anyway, go to Zethgor, the cursed abode of the Bleeding Hollow, and perform your grim task. Return to me when you've collected the talismans. See you around. Right, we've got several more of those to go and get then. And then we've got one over here, Commander Kingston. Great to meet you. Glad to meet you, soldier. Enough chatting, now listen up. I have a vital mission for you, and I want you to succeed. And survive. Well, I'm glad you added on the last bit. It does make me feel better. Oh, hang on. Hang on. So sorry. We got Safe travels. Safe travels. Where How we... are ya? Where we got that wrong. How are ya? You'll find the Legion front to our northeast and spaced along it are portals. Used to gather reinforcements from throughout Outlands, we, Grandon, are going to destroy those portals. Take this primer, designed in Area 52, it uses the demon's own power as an explosive device. Defeat legion forces around the portals, Grim and Kalis to gather demonic rune stones. Use the primer to detonate the stones inside the portals, then watch the fireworks. Go Grandon, and return to me when your mission is complete. Watch your back. Watch your back. Need help? It's time to strike Zeth Gore from the air. Our Griffin Riders are ready for a sortie, Grondorn, but they need someone on the ground to direct their fire. Are you ready for a covert mission? Take these smoke beacons into Zeth Gore, the Bleeding Hollow stronghold to the west. They have four guard towers, one near their northern wall, one near their southern wall, one near the forge, and another nestled under there in the foothills. Place a beacon underneath each of the towers and we'll fly in and bomb them. Light bless you. I can do that. I can do that. So we've got one over here. We uh, disrupt the portals. There's those two quests over there. I think, actually, there's another thing that we do over here by taking out a raft guard. Pretty sure there is, actually. We're going to, it's like we're going to take out two raft guards for a minute. Um, well, Mr. Raft Guards. And, well, I'll take that one down a minute. Just get rid of this one here, and then I'll loot it. Nope. Oh, maybe there isn't. There must be something else then. What 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 was it there? I'm sure there was another quest here somewhere that you picked up. Ah, there, demonic runestone. Oh no, you need that so that you can get that one. Disrupt the portals. Right, so I will take you. And I will take you, and then I will take you down here. There. Grandon Jenkins! And yes, I've been told I should be shouting something else. There's another thing I should be shouting. And some people want me to do a, um, uh, a macro so that when I go in and shout, I actually shout Grandon Jenkins. I might do that as well. I'm not going to make the macro yet, though. We'll work on that. Because there's, um, there's other things that people have asked me to do. I will do them. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. Um, it's just that, uh, yeah, I, they're, they're on my to-do list. Okay, there's that, we're, we're there, they're on my to-do list. Let's bring you over this way. Uh, uh, missing reagent, demonic runes. How many runestones do I need? Disable elite. Oh, four. 
I gotta get four of them. Right, so I need another one of these. Let's let's Well, I may as well take all of these down then. Take you. Gather up you and that one as well. There. Oops. There, and then shut them all down and do that one as well. Right, let's start work on this. I've got um, I, I've, I've got lots of uh, fire and nasty stuff and, and things coming after me. Take you down. Actually, I'm doing all right. I'm actually doing very, very all right here. I think we're going. We're going to be fine. We're going to be absolutely fine. There goes the last wrath guard. Three more demonic rune stones. This is good. A Doom whisperer over there. She's respawned very, very quickly. It's slightly concerning the speed that she's respawned, unless she didn't respawn. I need to get closer. Oh, out of range now. You've got to get right inside to do it. There we go. Detonating the rune stones. So we've got some in here, but we've got yet more that we need to get. So there's Disrupt the Portal Kalaz. Uh, we've still got to get some more. How many have I got? I got two. I need two more. Two more rune stones. One. Possibly one. There's no guarantee. There's absolutely no guarantee. So if I do it like this and then I go like that. Then I drop that one down. There. And you are a little bit too far away, but you're walking towards me. I can do that. And then I go like this. And I'm now starting to get a lot of attention from this lot. But we spam. Oh, yes. Spam the shields. Spam. I love it when the shield spam comes up. This is brilliant. Shield spam. Ha, ha, ha. A little more like it. Load of shield spam. There we go. Two more stones. That's all I need. That is everything I need to complete this. Okay, let's go up this way. Uh, in order to do this, I've got to get inside. So if I just get that one, take him down. I'm assuming that the others, well, they might come close enough, but I'm hoping that they won't. Take another shield there. And another shield. I'm doing really well with the shields at the moment. That's a spare demonic runestone, which we're not going to actually need. So detonate that one. Uh-oh. Uh, she, she's, she's angry. She's upset. I'm sorry. I'm I didn't mean it. Can we, do, can we not just talk this through? Please. Can we, can we not just talk this? Seriously, the shield spam at the moment is awesome. I don't know what's happened, but the shield spam has gone through the roof at the moment. It is genuinely spectacular. This is, this is the sort of thing that I like. There goes another one. Disrupt Portal Grim. Okay, we've done those two. So now I want to go... Actually, where do I want to... I want to press there. Okay. There we go. Depleted Kyperium Rocket. Take this one. I'm going to head back over to Zeth Gore now, and we're going to do that bit. I just heard the Fel... The Fel Reaver is right underneath me. Look. There is the Fel Reaver. There is the bane of Gooseman X's existence. Let's go a bit closer. Let's go closer to it. Let's let's take a look. Let's have a, let's let's wait. I I I can't go backwards. Um, I'm gonna move over this way and then I'm gonna do that. Now we can see it. Look, let's let's have a wander around. Let's fly all the way over here. It's, he keeps turning round. Stop going in a big circle. I want to be able to admire you from the front. Look at you. Aren't you pretty? Aren't you pretty? Let's go down over this way. I'm going to get shot by something now. There he is. The Fell Reaver. In all his zany glory. He's going to hit me, isn't he? He's going to get really angry with me. Okay, yeah, we'll leave the Fell Reaver alone. Right, we've got to mark the towers next. That's the next thing that we want to do. So, as I've also got to get these different stone... Uh, the, the talismans from all of the creatures down here. From all of the Bleeding Hollow lot. I'm, there's no point in like trying to fly over and avoid everything so we may as well gather up a big group each time and let them all come in and have a little chat with us there we go commence chatting here right serious chatting has commenced and they do all run away they run away like the absolute cowards that they are there we go. Well, one of them tried to run away just then, but he didn't quite make it. He wasn't able to run away fully. And we've got another one. And then here. Oh. All right. There we go. I got all of them together. Nice. We got two cursed talismans from that lot. Okay. So we'll pop in here and we will put a marker down. So there's the northern tower marked. Kablamo. 
And then I will head up over. So they're going over there. Come the bombers. The bomber griffins. And we, in the meantime, will race over this way. I'm going to land here. Aggravate that one there. I'm also going to aggravate that fella up there. Plus that fella over there. And that one in there. So that we've got a few of them here. And then I'm going to take a lot of damage, aren't I? This is what's going to happen next. Is I'm going to take way too much damage because these guys are going to be a bit tougher than I anticipated. They're not running away. Maybe I killed him quick enough that he didn't run away, but I got a feeling that maybe these guys are made of sterner stuff. I'm not sure if I want them to be made of sterner stuff. That, that, that's a bit more worrying, to be honest. That is a lot more worrying. Two more cursed talismans. Right, well, there's a there's a peon there. He should be fairly easy. He doesn't really have much in the way of armor. Um, he looks a bit more soft and squidgy. Well, at least relatively speaking. I mean, just when you look at him just in his own merits, he's, he's not particularly soft and squidgy, is he? He's, he's an orc. Um, they're not known for their soft squidginess, are they? Orcs are just not known for being soft and squidgy. Let's get some more fell iron. Grab that a second. There we go. We got the, the the moats of fire. They are useful for stuff later. You know what we haven't done? We haven't eaten anything. So we will sit down and we will eat as well. And we'll get a little tiny bonus from that. And there is a quest somewhere. I can't remember where. Oh, maybe no, we need to get the Outland cooking to be able to get that. Start I think to start the quest, we've got to get the Outland cooking. We need to go and do that. That is something very important. Um smoke beacon there. We'll do that in a minute. Probably not in this episode, but I need to now remember that we've got to do the Outland cooking. So that'll be something something for us to do later on. Okay, uh, let's get you. Because, you know, you're, you're trying to walk away and you're trying to be all peaceful and stuff. And I, I can't be having with that. There. There we go. Now, now they're all here. They're all having a little chat. So let us commence chatting. I'm going to stun you all with that one and then immediately do that. But they're going to take damage from my AoE on the ground. It's not going to be perfect. It's good enough. It's close enough. And I'm not going to worry about that one. I am going to take that, though. And then I'm going to spin round. I will start taking these guys out. That one will come back in a minute. The peon over there, he'll be back. Let's keep this going on the ground. You keep Keeping the AoE on the ground really does work wonders. And there's another peon there. There's one that's gone. So I'm just going to loot these guys. Th th three more. We're down to just four to go. I'll throw down the marker like that. And then finish him off on the way out. We can mount up a minute. And we got one more tower to take down over this side. Where is it? What is it? that we? Uh, is it the tower? No, it's not the tower. Yes, it is the tower. There's also some ore over here. There. There is ore in there. We'll go and get that. Take you down. So I've got a, a warg and a tormentor. I think I'm far enough away from the others that I'm not going to bother them. I will do that just in case he does want to run away. As I can't be having anybody trying to leave the party early. That's that's unacceptable. And then throw that down onto the ground and wallop him with a shield. And that one is done. We've got another cursed talisman right there. And then if I just creep forward a little bit, I can get this mining node. There, we've got some more fell iron. Now I can head over that way. There, we, we jump up like this and we head over this side. And there's the last one. This is the... Oh, the southern tower. It's not the black... I thought it was the blacksmith forge or something. It's not. Right, under there. There's two of those. There's another one there. Uh, I'll see if I can get his attention as well. There. Right, there's a few of them. Let's take this little lot here. We've got a nice little party to attend to right here. And I will use that one this time. And then I can do that. Right. There's one of them out. And another one will be out very shortly. I'll just heal up as well. Let's keep the AoE on the ground. And you're down. And I got another... Am I working on a peon? I think this is a peon. I'm not really sure. Ah, uh, uh, no. The, the grunts, they're the ones that put up more of a fight. They're less likely to run away. I don't, or maybe they don't run away. No, they go into frenzy. and They don't run away at all. They just get frenzied instead. I still need two. Two more talismans. But there's the third tower. Or the fourth tower, rather. So all towers done. 
Now we can go back over this way and we're not... Oh, hang on. There's more ore up here. We're not actually going to turn these quests in this time. I'm going to just mine... You are mounted. There. Mine that. I'm hoping I can just avoid that wolf up there. Let's just quickly grab that bit and then... Green Frodo Drake and disappear. There we go. Nicely done. Yeah, what I'd like to do is I want to just come over this way and grab a couple of orcs. I'm just looking around to see where I think would be the best place to grab a little grip there. Nice little bunch of them right there. I think we've got one up there. We've got one there. I've got one down there that can come and join me. And then there's one up there as well. And if I do that, I can yell at him and he'll come down. And I'm hoping that these guys here will provide me with the talismans that I need. We'll go back to on a hold, and we need, I think you look in the kitchen and you can get the um, the cooking skill. So it's the cooking skill that I want to start with, and the other skill, the fishing, we, we can do fishing, but there's little point in doing fishing at the moment. We haven't got anything to do with fishing. Look at all the spiders down there, cursed scarabs. I'm not sure what that's all about. I, I really have no idea what it's all about. Maybe it's a quest down there. I can't remember. Only one? Seriously? I was hoping for better than that. Right, we're still going to get one more talisman. Still one more, and then we can head back. So, uh, yeah, the reason I want to head back is because... Right, let's remove that one there. And then you're going to fireball me, and then the peon is going to come over and join the party as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to stun him completely like that. And I'm hoping I can finish him off before that's done. Yep, before the stun wears off. Um, yeah, we'll head right back. We'll, we'll half back and we will see if we can just grab the, the first bit of cooking. I think there is a quest or two with the cooking, which would be a good way to start things off so that we can get um, our first couple of cooking recipes as well. Plus that... Um, you, there, there's extra stuff with it. Um, there's cooking recipes. I think you get an extra one with the quest. And... Um, what else was it? There was something else. Can't quite remember now. Anyway, anyway, we, we, it doesn't really matter. We've done those. We've done those. Uh, fishing, we... Fishing, I think, is actually back in Shatford City. So we don't need to worry. About, there's no fishing here in Outland. And, and not Outland. Um, there's no fishing in this zone anyway. Oh! Sid! Greetings. The Longbeards. It's nice to see some new faces around here. What can I do for you? We're having a problem with the Arakoa bandits raiding many of our supply caravans, so I hired some dwarves to take care of them. They were brothers. Gremley Longbeard was the oldest. I'm a little worried about them. Those crazy dwarves pack more ale than food or ammunition. Maybe you can go check up on them? The Arakoa's hideout, the Den of Halesh, can be found to the far west of here, beyond the Great Fisher. They set up camp northwest of there, south of Dustquill Ravine. Be careful. Right, that's right over on the side of there. So that's one bit that we want to do. And then I want to have a look in here. Cooking trap. I knew Game's there was one friend. here. Right. I would like to train. Teach me. Outland cooking. Teach me your weird and unusual ways. Right, I've gained Outland cooking, but... Go with I, honor, friend. I don't have any cooking. All I have is Outland cooking. Outlandish dish. I don't have any. You're not much use, Gaston. Gaston! I know Gaston. I know Gaston. Right, so where is the next quest? Uh, maybe that's outside. What can I do for you? Priest Priest Gay slowly moves from his mug to you. Don't you know better than to bother a man in his cups? Oh, what's the use? I suppose newcomers are a good sign. What would Turalyon think? I remember the eve of our departure when I gave Mysteries of the Light to him. During the campaign and the ensuing years, he never forgot to read his daily passage to the men. When he left us again, he gave the book back to me. Like a fool, I believed it safe in my quarters to the south of the armory. See you around. Uh, right, so he, there, there's some issues going on there. And no cooking. There's no cooking quest. I haven't got any cooking recipes. I've got nothing. But there's another, there's another one over there. We, we've got... Okay, yeah, we, we've got a minor attack coming in. We won't worry about that right now. Um, but there is a, another cooking quest, and I can't remember where it is. I think the cooking thing is down here somewhere. You've got the Mysteries of the Light one over there, and then you've got that one all the way over there, the Longbeards. 
both of which we don't need to worry about right now. But we have run out of time. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. And get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.